Hey there, welcome to the last video solution of this series CS50 for Python. Today I am going to have a look into week 8 last problem that is CS50 certificate. Let's get into the problem. There is a shirt here which is something like that we have got in previous chapters as well. Probably it was in week 6 where we had to make the three Muppets wear the clothes and the t-shirts but here it's a little different. So this is the t-shirt that you can download using either this particular link or you can go down here and there is some widget given over there from there or from this widget where I am hovering my cursor that I have selected. You can download it and save it to the same directory. The problem states that we need to create a PDF from this .png file. The output should be in .pdf format. On the top, there should be this written CS50 certificate, and here in white text, we should be there should be a name that should be provided by the user. So the name took CS50. John Howard took CS50. David took CS50. Linda took CS50. Something like that. Some further specifications about the PDF given over here. You can see orientation of the PDF should be portrait. Format of the PDF should be A4 that is 210 mm wide and 297 mm tall top of the pdf should say cs50 certificate as i have already told centered horizontally and the user's name should be in white text we have already discussed it if you wish then you can provide some borders etc or otherwise not and we are being suggested that we should be using a particular library called fpdf2 if you come a little down here if you click on to this particular hyperlink it will take you to fpdf's tutorial page which is here it opens like this i am going to use the examples given into this tutorial page pretty heavily in order to use fpdf2 we need to install it first and we can install it using this particular line of code if i go to my code spaces here and then you can see let me install it okay now it is installed i already have dot this dot png file here let me do one more thing so let me make it let me rename this because earlier i have already done this so yeah now better now that we have already installed the required package let us start if I come down to this tutorial page, I am interested in tutorial 2, not the 1. So let us scroll down a little bit here. I am going to copy up to here. Let me put it. And then again set image. Let me copy this line as well. Come down here. And here I am going to put the path and the name of the file. It's a current path in I have saved .png into the current directory. Certificate.png and I am going to change these coordinates a little bit here. 15, 70, 190, 190. Moving further. I am going to copy this line of code, paste it here. I did not use the bold font, therefore, I am just going to keep it like this. And I am going to change the font size to 30. Next, I need to print the title. When I say title, what I mean is here a CS50 certificate. So it should be somewhere here. this line so let's put it over here the coordinates that i have used here is 150 10 title is going to be changed to cs50 certificate i am not going to use the borders therefore i am changing it to zero and alignment is going to be centered 
please keep in mind whatever the numbers that i am using here like 15 70 190 or 150 10 30 it it all depends upon the monitor size that you are using in order to look it nice i am using macbook air m2 13 inch screen therefore i have put the numbers here as per the monitor that i am using you may have to change these numbers you have to play play around with the numbers so that it looks nice onto your screen now that we have defined the class let us define our function def main name i am going to accept the input from user name and i am storing it in a variable called name as well now pdf is equal to pdf yeah if you come down over here again you will see here it is written like this only so now next part is that i am going to add the page so let me copy this line of code come down over here and then here i am going to pass on some parameters like orientation it need to be portrait so i have written here portrait format need to be a4 a4 next is font copy it from here i am going to stick with helvetica so let me copy the spelling from here paste it here size i am going to make it 24 now i am going to set the text color pdf dot text underscore color which need to be white so 255 dot comma 255 comma 255 for white color you have to keep this you don't have to change anything here for white color next is pdf dot cell and for cell you just pay attention to hear what is written over here note that the sales height can be in negative to move it upwards so don't be afraid of putting a negative number minus 100 213 that is 213 and then i'm going to use a f string using this function i am going to actually print here something like this John Howard took CS50. So I am going. I have written here the coordinates X position, Y position, and as I said, you can put the numbers here in negative. And I am going to use the F string to print here the user entered name. Name took CS50, and it has to be centered align. And then finally, we have to output it. Output is again a function that comes with FPDF. You can just check it over here. So output certificate.pdf. And then at, at the end. If underscore underscore name underscore underscore equal to equal to main then main let me have a look into the program before i run it everything looks fine so we can run it python certificate.py let us say the name is david and here i should be having a certificate.pdf it is here you can see it is david took cs50 which is okay so i think we are done with this program let me let us check it out cs50 copied come back here clear the terminal paste it by the time it is extracting result i would like to share with you that i have been publishing videos onto my youtube channel related to, to python which are not part of this course I will share the link of those playlists into the description box you can go and check those videos out 
everything is in green it means that our code has passed these 50 parameters so friends that was it thank you for being part of my journey and next is etc no more tests no more problems there and i wish you all the best for your project and hopefully you complete your project and get the certificate just like i did here all the best and if you like this video please share it with your friends subscribe to my channel for further videos and do not forget to like it i will be starting with cs50x next year sometime in february so then once i start i will be again coming with the solution videos for cs50x till that time happy coding